I just got back from my second lifestyle preview visit down at the Villages in Florida, and I'm going to show you around the model that they had me in this time, along with the area, and a few tips and tricks for the golf cart that you may want to think about before you go down there. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel here. I'm Rusty Nelson and we're going to talk a little bit about through this whole channel about things that deal with the villages and also I'm going to kind of expand this into pieces about retirement. So first of all, let me say thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. And when you do, make sure you hit that bell so that you get notified by everything. And if you like it by the end, go ahead and hit the like button. That would be surely appreciated. First of all, let me say when I do these uh, things where they put me down there in these lifestyle preview visits. I want to make sure that you realize that I do not work for the villages. I just want to get that out there. And I am going down for my second lifestyle preview visit, just like anybody else would be. And I'm just kind of documenting that as I go along. And also remember, the areas, marketing, prices, things change as you go along through time. So if you're watching this from a year from now, um, they may not be in those areas. The lifestyle preview visits may not be in that area. So just keep that in mind if you would. Also, at the end, I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I did with the golf cart that I kind of learned by mistake and things you may want to think about. So stay around, stick around, stay around till the end. And if you've been on a lifestyle visit, please put your comments down below because I'd sure like to hear about it. And if they can help other people, Hey, why not? We are all in this together. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Probably like, let's check out where the location is first of all. All right, let's get started here. This is the town of Collier, just up to the left of Brownwood. And they're the Alden and Atwood bungalows. And that's where I was on the northern side of that little area with the Alden bungalows. And you can see that here, uh, putting the drone up. And if we spin to the right, you'll be able to see, that's the spa right down there on the left. You'll be able to see just how close everything is to this area, which makes it a great area for the lifestyle preview. The Brownwood paddock is almost within, yeah, it is within walking distance. And so is the shopping area. It's also a little Chinese place down there that I've eaten at a couple of times. Using the drone, you can kind of see the a nice shot of the house itself. And this, like I said, is a Melrose. And just because they call it a Melrose doesn't mean they'll vary, they won't vary from time to time. And we can go ahead and take a look at one of the uh, drawings. Now, these drawings uh, in the gallery of uh, the homes, you can look these up and they're great. Um, resource on their website. So let's go ahead and get started and check out the inside. First thing we're going to take a look at is the golf cart. And this is the golf cart that they give you. Pretty nice. And a couple of tricks I'm going to tell you here in a few seconds. Actually, since I have to reshoot that part, I'll show you a couple of tricks that I did with the golf cart at the very end. They also give you two bikes, which is really nice, and give you two helmets. I'm sure they're big because they'd have to be to fit my fat head, that's for sure. And we'll go ahead and go jump right in and take a look real quick. And coming in through the garage, the first thing that's on your left is a guest room and as you can see pretty nice guest room that's for sure and then directly across the hall is the second bathroom so we can turn on the light here for a second and one thing you can say is they definitely have Plenty of towels, that's for sure. Now, this is a, this, like I said, this is my second lifestyle preview. 
And I'll definitely say, if you go back and look, and I'll put the link above my first lifestyle, there's some things that uh, I want to say aren't quite as nice, but don't take that the wrong way. This is definitely a nice place. It's just, you'll see in a second. Hang on, okay. So first things first, take a look at the kitchen. You have a coffee maker and they already have a bunch of coffee in there. So if you want to bring your own Keurig type thing, this is just a bunch of trash that I have that still has to go out. A toaster, a blender if you're into making margaritas. There are some pots and pans down below. Uh, like I said, the other um, unit that I had seemed to have a little like nicer glasses. If you look in here, they're kind of some small wine glasses, coffee cups. Um, just seem to be like some more, more stuff in there. But I have a feeling these units may come up for sale. That's just a guess. Has a, an electric stove, a newspaper. Every day it'll be sitting out there and it's kind of a fun read through, kind of tells you different information and things that are happening around town. And you have a closet with some Tupperware type stuff in it and another trash can. I am actually just starting to pack up and leave. I have to be out of here in about a half an hour, but I wanted to show you what was here. The dishwasher, which I just kind of did some dishes there before I left so they weren't stuck with nothing in there. And here is fire extinguisher, some laundry detergent, extra trash bags, and dishwasher type things. And in here is your trash, and I will explain the trash to you, that's for sure. Got one roll of uh, paper towels. Make sure you bring your cords to charge in. There's a lot of electrical outlets. This is the dining room. This comes with or came with the newspaper, which is really good because you get the newspaper every single day. You want to stop out on Thursdays, I believe it is, and you can pick up the wrecks and parks, which will go through each one of the wrecks and parks. You have to get that over at the one of the major rec centers. We'll have copies of them. And you want to make sure that you, well, you can also get it on the internet too. So, but it's kind of nice to have that handy as you're driving around. This is another thing I picked up, which was uh, Learn to Grow courses. Has different courses and everything that um, goes on. So, if you want to take courses in almost anything, that's really, really kind of great thing to learn if you're planning on buying. And this is the living room, I guess you would call this, or a den. Uh, the TV, now the TV was a little bit larger than the last one I had, that's for sure. And it also had Roku, but here you have the TV and the remote. And I believe they actually have it set up so that you can actually record because the recording kept coming on. I think somebody had it programmed to record. Now this is the master, has its own TV in there. Here's another thing that I brought with me this time. Alexa, temperature. Right now, it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 66 degrees. So that's kind of nice to have. And same remote controls here. As you can see, I am packing to leave. They give you a nice little bag, I guess, to take with you. It says, keep this bag. And this is the bathroom. I think, if I remember correctly, the bathroom in the other place was a little bit nicer also. But this is nice, just a different model. And a closet that's with a vacuum cleaner and more sheets, ironing board, and soap. This is, oops. you have a washer and dryer, so you'll definitely I, I went through a lot of clothes, that's for sure, no doubt. And this is the second bedroom. Really nice. I haven't even looked in here, to tell you the truth. I haven't even been in here. Uh, more sheets. Pillows. This is the porch, and it came with two chairs and a little table now. Came with two other chairs and a table, but I took those out front because 
Ah, I like having my coffee outside. And this has got kind of a fun backyard because it's a larger area. Now, here's something. It seems like most of the places, and that is a heat pump. You may ask exactly, what exactly is a heat pump? It is nothing more than an air conditioner and a heater together. Let me, let me show you some of the paperwork that they actually give you. Get a map of where you are, and I'll show you a detailed map. And it will also show you how to get over to the paddock Brownwood. You get some information about check-in, check-out, and what you need to do right when you check out, so it's kind of easy. Get some keys, and I have to be honest with you, I still have no idea what that key is to. Um, <laughs> so if anybody rents one of these or leases, uses one of these places, let me know what that key's to. This is your gate pass to get in and out of the gates, but once again, if you get stuck and you don't have that with you, and this is your cart key, go ahead and just push the red button and the gate will open and you'll get a residence pass. That's about it for in here. Let's jump back outside and show you a couple things that I did with the cart that you may want to think about. This is the back of the cart and I had to shut the door so you're going to hear a little bit of an echo, sorry. This is the back of the cart and you see it has a little storage in there. And what I did is I brought this, which had a lock on it or anything like this, and it just allows me to put a, like, cause I had some of my camera gear back there and I didn't want to leave it. Now, theft rate is kind of low in the villages, but with that said, um, I know there is some problems. The other thing I did that's a lot of fun is if you look up here, I have two pieces of Velcro. Now, the, the reason I did that was because the first time I went out, I had my phone actually slide right off of the cart. So what I did was, is I, I took two pieces of Velcro and put those on the back of my case. Now those are little sticky things. I'll put the link probably in, in Amazon so you can find those. And then two more up here. And then I just stuck this up here. And when I wanted to go someplace, it made it really easy to go ahead and use it and just go like that. Now this is the pay app, which I find works. I think it works a lot better. That's for sure. Southwest Alila now court. Then turn left onto Charlotte. Now I know they put on the villages GPS. They put a voice, but if you try both of them, I'm still using this one just because the seven bucks or whatever it costs, it seems to work a lot better, that's for sure. Something I forgot to shoot was the garage door opener and it didn't have a clip on it, so I Velcroed it to the top of the cart. Now you have to remember to take it with you when you go out in the car if you want, and also remember to take it off of there when you leave. I wanna show you something that's kind of important. On the left and right side of the console here, there are these little flip doors and underneath is a USB charging port. So um, that's kind of good to know, especially if you're driving around with your phone and your battery life's not that good. You can hook it up and run your cord right up to where the Velcro was and use the GPS. Anyway, uh, that's about it for in here. Let's go ahead and jump back out of here. And that's about it. It's just about over. But if you would, please go ahead and subscribe. Really appreciate it if you'd follow that guy down there, wherever he is. And uh, please put your comments and questions down below because other people probably have the same questions or things that they uh, may never thought of. And thank you so much for the people that contribute with answers because a lot of people that listen to this also live down at the villages and they have the answers before I can even find them out. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And if you stay tuned for right after this, I got a blooper. You'll get to see everything's not perfect on here. I'll see you later on a video or I will see you down at the villages. I just got back from my second lifestyle preview visit and I'm gonna take you for a tour of the model that I was in along with... 
a different a different model. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs>